Hello, you beautiful souls, and welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. I hope you are all doing well this morning and are ready for some yoga, of course. But before we begin, can you believe it has already been a year? One year that we've been doing this digitally, live stream because of the pandemic. I think that's pretty insane and also amazing at the same time that we've been able to build this community, help one another heal, whether it is physically or emotionally or mentally, whatever it is that has brought you to these sessions. I hope that you have truly found value in them and you keep coming back. So uh, with that being said, I am really truly glad that you guys are here and let's get back to our mat. Get yourself in a nice comfortable seat. You can start your watch if you would like. And then cross your legs if that's comfortable to you. You can always have them out or straddle to the side. Just find something that's going to be comfortable as we begin to breathe. So make sure we're sitting up nice and tall in our spine. Get your hands in a comfortable position wherever you would like them. And when you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to take a really big breath in through the nose. Exhale, press it out through the mouth. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. As we begin to ground ourselves into our mat, calm our mind. Relax through your body. Relax your shoulders down. Give your legs a wiggle if you notice that they're getting a little tense. <clears throat> and just breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and take your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And this time as you breathe in, I want you to focus on really lifting through that belly. So take a big breath in. Exhale, pull that belly button all the way deep into your core, press that air out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Awesome, just go ahead and relax your hands down, whether they're at your side or in your lap. And I want you to just lean your head, right ear to right shoulder. Just begin to feel that stretch through the left side of your neck, waking up those teeny tiny little finicky muscles. Maybe this is a deep enough stretch for you. If you'd like to take it a little farther, you can take that left hand and plant it palm onto the mat. You'll feel that extra little pull here from your shoulder lowering. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release that tension, smile. And again, if you'd like to take it even farther, you can take your right hand all the way up and over, catching your head just above that left ear. No tugging, no pulling, no straining. Just let gravity do the job here. And just breathe, focusing on breathing deeply through your belly, not through your chest. If we're breathing through our chest, we're adding into that tension in our neck. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Release your hand down and rock your head left to right. Slowly rolling through the neck here. Feeling where you're getting a little more length in through your neck. And then come back to center, rolling straight up, sitting up tall. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, release your left ear to your left shoulder. Again, you can stay here if that's enough for you. You can plant the right palm, or you can take your left hand up and over to catch the right side of your head. Releasing your upper body, releasing that tension that you've been holding on throughout the week or the year. And just let it go. Focusing on that breath, really 
Breathing deep down into the belly. Two more breaths here. Again, using whatever is going to be comfortable for you. And with that next inhale, rock your head left to right. And then come back into the center, sitting up tall, take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome job. Inhale, send your nose all the way up. Press your chin slightly forward. Really straightening or lengthening through the muscles right here in the front of our neck. And exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Keep it going. Two more. Last one. Awesome job. We're going to come on to all fours. So bring your knees underneath of your hips, wrists directly underneath of your shoulders. Spread those fingertips nice and wide and curl your toes under. As we take a big breath in, drop your belly, send your gaze forward, lift your hips towards the sky as we come into our cat cows. And as we exhale, roll through your spine, lifting your upper back towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest and press into your hands here. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly, feel your shoulder blades trying to meet at your spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Keep it going. Starting to feel that spine wake up. We work from the top of our head to our tailbone. And give me two more. And last one. Great job. Come back into that neutral tabletop position. Take a big breath in. I want you to lift that right arm all the way up to the sky. Not straight up with the arm, but slightly back at an angle so we don't cause compression at the shoulder. Big breath in, and on an exhale, thread that arm through, bringing your right shoulder down to the mat, forehead comes down. Now you can keep your left hand where it's at, or you can extend it overhead if that's available to you. Take a big breath in, and on an exhale, shift your body weight to the right side of your mat, just getting an extra deep stretch here. And just focus on that breath. Big inhale, exhale, in, and out. Great. Press into that left hand. Lift your body all the way up. Send your right arm back behind you as you dip that shoulder down to meet the mat. Inhale. Come all the way back up. Plant your palms. And then lift through that left arm this time. Again, focusing on dropping it slightly back between where your shoulders and your hips are versus straight up. Big breath in. Exhale. Thread that needle. Drop your shoulder down, relax your forehead. Tailbone stays high. And just breathe, big inhale. Exhale, shift your body weight to the left side of your mat. Feeling that deep stretch. And just focus on your breath. You can close your eyes if that feels comfortable to you. One more breath here. Great job, come all the way back up into our tabletop position. Take a big breath in and out. Awesome job, inhale, I want you to send your right fingertips forward, really point through those fingertips and slow and controlled, send your left leg back behind you, pointing your toes, really feeling this lengthening through your body. We're not arching in that low back, keep it nice and straight. Take a big breath in. Then on an exhale, slow and controlled, connect elbow to knee in the center. Inhale, lengthen, send it out. Exhale, connect. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Great. Plant that knee, plant that hand, and we'll go on to the opposite side. So inhale, lift through that left hand this time. Lengthen through your fingers. And when you're ready, send your right toes back. Big breath in. Exhale, connect. 
Keep it going, always connecting the movement to your breath. Trying to find your balance, so don't move too slow or too quickly. Find what's gonna work for you. Give me one more. And then release it down, great job. I want you to just walk your tailbone back towards your heels and sit up nice and tall so we get a deep stretch at the bottoms of our feet. If this is too much, go ahead and lift your hips up and away. Try to sit up tall, pull that belly button deep in, relax your shoulders down, take a big breath in. And out. Holding here for three more breaths. Just find anything out in front of you to hold your gaze. Takes your mind off the sensations you might be feeling in your feet. Awesome job. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Look up, big stretch. And exhale, plant those palms down. Come back into our tabletop position. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, we're going to lift our hips towards the sky, coming into our first downward facing dog. You can keep your heels lifted, knees bent if you need to. Just make sure we're really dropping our chest towards our thighs, pressing into the pads of the index finger and your thumbs, evenly distributing that weight from one hand to the other. And then go ahead and drop one heel, followed by the other, really lengthening through the back sides of your legs. And then come into the center, holding it there for one breath. Inhale. Exhale, bend those knees. Look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Keeping your feet about hip distance apart and then release your upper body over your lower body. Allowing your chin to come into your chest and just feel that stretching. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straightening through your upper body here. Sending your gaze just out past your nose into our halfway lift. Take a big breath in and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Maybe bringing your hands to your shins this time. And exhale, fold. And with that next inhale, we're gonna roll all the way up to standing. Slow and controlled, looping your shoulders up, back and down as we reach the top. Bring your hands right at your side, extend through your fingers here. Tuck your chin slightly into your chest and take a breath here in the mountain. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome, bend your knees, drop your hands down. We're gonna draw big circles, we see it all the way up. Give me a slight back bend at the top. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. I want you to go ahead and plant your palms onto the mat. Step one foot back, followed by the other, shifting yourself into a plank. If this is not available, just drop down onto your knees. Take a big breath in and out. Holding it here for two more. Inhale, exhale. Really spiraling your inner thighs towards the ceiling. Pulling your belly button in deep. Big breath in. And on the exhale, keep your elbows at your side. Slowly lower all the way down as we move through our first vinyasa. Flip your toes. Inhale, press into your hands. Lift your upper body away from the floor. Relax your shoulders down as we come into our upward facing dog. Focusing on your breath. Squeeze your glutes. Keep that low back nice and safe. Take a big inhale. And on an exhale, send your hips to your heels. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Big toes come to touch. And we'll come into our child's pose. Relaxing your forehead all the way down. And just taking this moment to surrender. To be still and breathe. Big breath in through the nose. And out. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to focus on one thing that you're grateful for from today.
with your next breath, come on up into our tabletop position. Knees under your hips, wrists directly underneath of your shoulders. Fix your clothes if you need to. And take a big breath in. Exhale, send your hips high, downward facing dog. Holding it here for just a moment. Big breath in and out. Great job. Bend those knees. Look forward. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Forward fold. This time I want you to take opposite hand to opposite elbow. And just again, allow yourself to hang here. Go to rag down. Maybe you find a slight sway side to side. Just breathe into it. Inhale. And exhale. Relax your chin. And then come back into the center. Release your arms down. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend those knees. Big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Bring your palms together and release them to your heart. Take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome job. I want you to open your arms. One goes forward, one goes back. Look over your arm behind you. Just feeling this stretch, pulling your arms towards that back wall. Big breath in. Exhale, bring that left arm forward. Send your right arm back. Your gaze to follow. Breathing in. And release it forward. Forward fold all the way down. Plant those palms. Step your left foot back this time, followed by the right, shifting into your plank position. Holding it here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Spiral your inner thighs towards the ceiling here. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. One more breath. You've got it. And exhale. Elbows into your side. Slowly lower all the way down. Flip your toes. Inhale. Lifting into our up dog. Squeezing through those glutes. Keep your low back engaged. And exhale. Child's pose. You can keep your knees into the center if you would like, or open them wide. Find what's comfortable for you here, and just take a breath. Inhale, exhale, one more. Awesome job. Come all the way back up into our tabletop position. Curl your toes under. Send yourself up, downward facing dog. Big stretch here. Using your breath to just find that stillness. I want you to put all of the weight into your left foot, really anchoring that heel down and slow and controlled. Lift your right foot up as high as you can go without stacking your hips. Keep them parallel to the ground. Coming into our three-legged dog. Big breath in. Exhale. Bend your knee. Step it forward. Bring your foot with your hands. You can stay here in this high lunge or you can release your knee down. Find whatever is comfortable for you. Inhale, lift through your chest. Exhale. Awesome, I want you to go ahead and plant your back heel down onto the floor, foot angled slightly towards the side. And when you're ready, lift through that upper body. Holding it here, you can have your arms lifted or keep them at your shoulders. See if you can sink a little lower in your hips, keeping this front knee over that ankle. Big breath in, and exhale, bring it forward. Chest comes onto your thigh, you pivot back onto your toes. Lower that back knee down. Swing your other foot around, send it back, child's pose. Take a breath here, inhale, and exhale. Awesome job, come back into our tabletop position and find your way all the way up to downward facing dog. You guessed it, let's go to the opposite side. So drop that right heel down, send your left toes up. Big breath in and out. One more here. Bend that knee, step it forward, bring your foot with your hands. You can drop down onto that back knee if you would like. And again, lift through the chest. We're gonna drop that back heel down. Inhale, come all the way up. Holding it here for two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can sink a little lower. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. And exhale. 
Come all the way forward, chest to your thighs, palms come to the mat, release that back knee, swing your left foot forward, I mean backwards, and then come into your child's pose. Relaxing your forehead all the way down. Inhale, and exhale. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. inhale just lift through that upper body sending your hips to your heels sitting up nice and tall yeah fixing your clothes I know they keep moving <laughs> relax your hands down at your side tuck that tailbone under just slightly and just breathe inhale exhale in and out Great job. Send your body weight for, forward, curl your toes under, release your hips back to your heels. Again, stretching through your feet. You'll probably notice it's not as tense this time. Sitting up nice and tall through your spine. Tuck your chin down just slightly. Big breath in. And out. Awesome. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Look up. Exhale, lower them down. This time, inhale, we're gonna lift our entire upper body. Arms go high, exhale slow and controlled, bring it all the way back down. If this is too much for you, you can find a pillow or roll your mat to put under your knees. Inhale, lengthen, lifting. This time I want you to really press your hips forward. And exhale, slow and controlled, sink it back down. <coughs> Inhale, one more time, all the way up. Press it forward, hold it at the top. One more breath in. And exhale, bring it down. Awesome job. Bring your hands in front of you and set your legs out to the side. Bring them around to the front and position yourself so you're in the center of your mat. Go ahead and flex your toes towards your nose and then rotate your big toes in towards the center. Bring your hands down onto the mat right at your hips and again, sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath in and out. Awesome. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. And exhale, fold forward, bending from your hips, not from the middle of your back, right? So if you can reach your shins, great. If you can get to your ankles, awesome. Bottoms of your feet will come in time. Wherever you land, just go ahead and tuck your chin into your chest. So just breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper. One more breath here, in and out. Great, inhale, roll it all the way back up. Once you take that right foot, you're gonna set it outside of your left knee. Bring that right hand back behind, and when you're ready, inhale, lift your left arm all the way up. Exhale, twist and connect. Look over your right shoulder. Keep those left toes flexing towards your face. Inhaling in and out. One more big breath in here, and out. Inhale, send your body to the opposite side, counter twist, and then come all the way back up. Relax your right leg, send your left leg outside of that right knee. Left hand comes back behind you. Inhale, lengthen right arm to the sky. Exhale, twist and connect. Look over your left shoulders here. Inhaling in. And out, focusing on that breath. One more. Awesome, inhale, twist to the opposite side, counter twist. Great job. Bring both of your feet flat onto the floor in front of you. You can snuggle them back towards your hips. A little farther away will be less of a challenge. And when you're ready, keep your knees pulling in towards one another. Lift your arms out in front of you, palms facing each other. Take a big breath in. And exhale, sink it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, sink it back. Inhale, forward. 
Exhale, sink it back even farther. Bring it all the way up. Inhale, we're gonna sink it back, hold it there, and see if you can just lift your arms up towards the sky, and then lower them. Sink down an inch, lift those arms. Lower them, sink one more. See if you can lift those arms, keep it going. Great job, and this time, exhale, release that upper body over the lower body, stretch those limbs long. Extend your arms overhead, big stretch, you've earned it. And exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch your shins with your hands. Just give yourself a little tug. Lift that tailbone away from the floor. Take a big breath in. And out. Awesome job. Go ahead and rotate through your feet here. One way and then the other. Giving out all of those snap crackles and pops. Whew. And then when you're ready, go ahead and release one leg and then the other, allowing your feet to fall open as wide as your mat. And then let your arms come down, palms open to the sky as we move into our savasana. This is our time to be still, to be present, and to just breathe. So take a big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just be still. I want you to think of one more thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next breath, go ahead and wiggle your toes, your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and closed. And then slowly roll onto your side and come all the way back up into a comfortable seat. Legs crossed, eyes closed, hands in your lap. Take a big breath in through the nose and out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. And if you are not with me live, I hope you enjoyed catching this later on the YouTube channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. Might as well. New videos come every single week, so you might as well make it part of your consistent routine because when it's consistent, that's when you begin to heal. So I hope you guys stay well. I look forward to our next session. And you guys have a great day. Bye.